Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video. I uh, just got off work and uh, me and Rob were like, yo, let's ride after work. We were going to ride the, the ramps at the shop, which I will make a video on one day. We, we do have some ramps there, so maybe we'll ride them one day. Um, but uh, we're just kind of like, you know what, let's just go to the skate park. It's a lot easier. Uh, and there's a couple of things we want to try. Uh, now, if you watch my Madoc video, I did um, a couple different like rail ride uh, variants, I suppose. Um, and one of the one one of the ones that I did by accident really didn't really get it on film um, Was I did a 180 double peg hop over switch double peg and then just got out of it or whatever So I did like a backwards predator, but it's a trick. I've never really tried before so I think tonight at the skate park what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try to do a normal predator obviously before I try it again backwards and Then I might try it backwards just on our little flat rail there and then I might try I did that uh, tire ride drop pegs to hop over and I was thinking that it might be kind of cool to do that with um, an ice pick so a tire ride ice pick hop over um, now the only issue that I'm I'm gonna run into is that our, our rail at Belleville isn't it's not a flat rail it's not like a square rail it's a it's a round rail so it is a little bit harder to do the uh, rail ride I've only ever done one rail ride really on a round rail so we'll see how it goes we're gonna try it out and yeah so let's go to the skate park <laughs> alrighty we're here at the skate park there's Rob we're session this flat rail let's do the let's do the flat rail Ooh, that rail ride. This is a round rail, and I suck at round rails, but we're gonna get it. I did a normal rail ride, which I suck at, so I'm trying to get better. But now I'm just gonna try some normal rail, like grinds and stuff. I'm gonna try some new Reap. stuff. Reap. <laughs> Alright, so I did that 180 double peg hop over, and I've never done that before. So next we're going to try to do a fakey predator. Or maybe I'll try a normal predator first. I feel like I should try that first. So we'll do a normal predator. Never done one. First try. I keep landing like the most randomest stuff, like a double peg hop over, hop up double or tie ride. That's fucked. Let's get uh, this predator. Shout out to uh, driving backwards.
session may be cut short. Well, I'm slipped up there, and uh, as you can see, that is the state of my chain right now. So that's sick. Uh. I'm gonna keep trying, but I can't pedal, so that sucks. For this chain. We broke. We broke the chain. So that's sick. We're riding chainless. Oh. I have like the actual link that pops. That's sick. It's not like we work at a bike shop. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Colt. I just realized if I fall now, it's gonna go directly on the sprocket, so. No more rail rides. Look at this guy. What a real, re real YouTuber. That set up my shaky ass hands. Let's set this down. Oh yeah, set up that GoPro. Set it up. Yo, do you make YouTube videos? Yeah, I do. My name's Rob Seymour Bikes. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back at home. Um, that session was really stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I legit got there. First trick, and this is something I do all the time. Um, there's like this little box jump type thing, and I basically, I always 180 it, and then half cab out of the, the bank uh, after the landing. Um, and... I don't know, I do it all the time. Like it's it's not hard, but yeah, I just, first thing I got there and this is annoying. I've actually ordered a new free coaster wheel. I got the Fiend Cab free coaster wheel, I think is what it's called, um, but uh, it didn't get ordered, so I haven't got it yet. Um, and I'm not gonna blame it on that. This is, it was my fault why I fell. Although I feel like if I had that new wheel, I wouldn't have fell. But basically with my back wheel, I've complained about this a lot. Uh, it engages when I don't want it to and it doesn't engage when I want it to uh, So that's a bit of an issue. So basically I went kind of fast and I was obviously not expecting my free coaster to engage so I went 80 over and landed and with I got like halfway down the ramp and then just it just like I, I did like this weird little uh, like uh, turn thing which I which messed me up and then my free coaster engaged so then I started going and then I just looped out and I looped out falling backwards onto a bank and I went and I I thought I didn't hit my head and I was I was even said to Rob I was like oh thank god I didn't hit my head but uh, yeah there's a little bump back there so I smacked my head off the ground and I got uh, uh, nothing really on my arm it's it's more or less just a little bump on the very end so um, it's more of more just frustrating and just annoying than anything it's not like oh like it hurts so bad it's just it's just there so like you forget about it like it doesn't hurt when i'm just doing normal stuff and then like i put my arm down and it's oh it's just just annoying um and then yeah i, I tried the predator i was doing double peg hop over double peg and i didn't think i got it but i kind of did on one of them i'll play it right now it kind of did it um but yeah like frig like i just smacked my sprocket once real good and my chain just it like you saw it in the footage like the, the two uh pins like came out of the one side uh or out of the one link there and it just uh, just fell apart and it was really busy and it was just frustrating and that fall just kind of set me off like oh like as if i just fell on the first trick and it's something i do all the time so that was just really annoying um my chain breaking was annoying because I just put that chain on like a week or two ago or two weeks probably now but yeah just just frustrating session at the park and that happens sometimes it's alright um, but yeah hopefully 
Tomorrow, I, I don't even want to try and put the same chain on, especially if it's going to break that easy. Like, I hit it once off the rail, and it was done. I mean, it's a $14 chain retail. Like, this was a cost retail, and I paid half that um, with my discount at the bike shop, so I couldn't expect much. Um, we do have some shadow halflings, which are apparently super strong. I've never really had any luck with halfling chains, but I might just give it a go, you know? Um, but yeah, but uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick short little video if it was even short or quick I don't know. I probably edited it to be long, but if you made it this far. Thank you so much I appreciate you guys that stayed till the end and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this little video. Peace out guys <laughs>